Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to talk about something that I covered in an older video. Previously, I did a video talking about all the different types of masking you could do in Lightroom. And what we're going to talk about today was a little part of that video, but I feel it's something that is very important and very useful. So I wanted to do this shorter video dedicated to it and it alone. I'm talking about intersecting masks in Lightroom. Now we're working on this image. I just did basic processing to it. That's it. Now I want to do two different types of masks. I want to add a mask to the sailboat and just brighten the sailboat up just a little bit. Then I want to add a mask to the sky and I want to add drama to the sky. So let's go to the mask and we're going to do the subject mask first. It selected the sailboat, but it over selected quite a bit. It has part of the water over here and it actually missed part of the sailboat right here. So I need to both add and subtract to this mask. So we're going to subtract first. We're going to subtract with a brush. So I'm just going to do this very quickly with a brush. I'm just going to remove it from where I don't want it. I don't want it on this water at all. Okay, so just very quickly. Then I need to add this part of the sailboat. So we'll go to the add button and we're going to again add with the brush. And again, we're going to use the right here and we're just going to do this very quickly. Okay. So that's good enough. Now I mentioned I just want to brighten this up. So we're going to go to the exposure slider and move that to the right and just brighten it up just a little bit. That's it. All right. Now the second mask, I want to add drama to the sky. So I'm going to get a mask for the sky. So we're going to create a mask. We're going to select the sky. All right. We selected the sky pretty good. It missed part right here, but that's okay. Now you're going to worry about it. So we have this. Now, how do you add drama to the sky? Well, you could use contrast, move contrast to the right. You can see we're adding some drama. Or you could go to presence and you could go to maybe the Dehay slider, move that to the right, or move the clarity slider to the right. And one thing I'm noticing when I move any of these three sliders is yes, I'm adding drama, but especially with Dehay's, as I move that to the right, look how much it's darkening up at the top. And I don't want it really to affect up at the top. I just want the drama on the clouds that are down here more towards the horizon, even with the tone section when I go to contrast you can see how it just darkens up the top and I really don't like that I just want the drama added here so what I could do is I could intersect this sky mask I could intersect this sky mask with a linear gradient that is upside down when you intersect masks your adjustment will only be applied to the parts of the two masks that overlap now, if I put a linear gradient on here by itself, it would also go on the sailboat. And I don't want it on the sailboat. But if I intersect the linear gradient with the sky mask, the sky mask isn't on the sailboat. So it will only go on where the two masks overlap. So it will avoid the sailboat. So what we're going to do is we're going to intersect this mask with a linear gradient. Now, to do that, you see you have this add and subtract button. Hold in the option can of Mac. Alt can a PC, it will turn it into an intersect button. Click on that intersect button and go down to linear gradient. Now I mentioned I want to put it on upside down. Putting it on upside down means the bottom part will get most of the adjustment. And as you go towards the top, it will get less of the adjustment. So I'm just going to go around the horizon line right here and I'll just click and draw up. Now I want it to be perfectly horizontal and to do that just hold the shift key in and the shift key is kind of a cheat key to make sure it stays perfectly horizontal and then as I go up now you can see that the mask is a gradient it's not getting applied to the sailboat at all because it's only going to get applied where the sky mask already is and it's going to because it's a gradient it's going to gradually decrease as we move up because I put it on upside down now what I could do is go to contrast and move that to the right and you can see I'm adding contrast to those clouds but it's not affecting the top of the image I could even bring like maybe exposure down a little bit or maybe I could bring up highlights or better yet maybe I'll go to whites and add whites that way this way just adding that drama to that sky just this part of the sky and if I felt the need I could go to presence and mess around maybe with clarity let's see how it's affecting this this part of the sky but not up at the top so intersect mask I think it's something that's super useful in Lightroom and as I mentioned I did this in this actually uh, two previous videos I've talked about intersecting the mask but it was part of a larger video where I talked about a lot of different things you could do with masking 
and I think it's so important I wanted to do this video that's dedicated to it all by itself. Of course, you're not limited to intersecting a sky mask and a linear gradient. You could take any two different masks and intersect them. You could intersect a subject mask with a gradient or a subject mask with a sky and so on and so on. So you could just take any two masks and you could intersect them with one another. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.